Did it, is it gonna work? Did it work? Ah! <laughs> a mustache. Huh. I have a mustache. Big Jeffy. I am a man. Manly Jeffy. A big, strong man. Ugh. Do me that. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys, Prince Charming. We're gonna be checking out the SMO movie, Jeffy's Puberty, on today's video. Jeffy's finally going through puberty. I mean, it should've been come. He's already 15. You usually go through it 13-ish, 12-ish, 14. It's different for everybody. Some girls even go through it at like 9, 10. Some boys 16 latest, bro. It just fluctuates throughout each person. So if you haven't gone through it yet, and you're 14, 15, you know, don't don't feel too bad. Your time is still coming. Quite frankly, I don't think I went through it until 14-ish, 15-ish, because that's when I went through like a huge growth spur, and I just feel like that's an indication of puberty. You grow very tall. From my sophomore year of high school to my junior year of high school, I think I grew about, what, three to four inches? That is a lot of height in a short amount of time, so yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to hit me with a like, subscribe, and go ahead and comment when did you go through puberty. Like I said, I think mine was around 14-ish, 15-ish. So, you know, let me know when you guys were. You're probably not even old enough. You're probably like 6, 7. You're like, oh, what is puberty? What, what is that? But, yeah, we're going to see Jeffy go through it. So, this will be kind of like an insight of what you will experience as well. Enough of me talking. Let's go and check out that's my movie, Jeffy's Puberty. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Jeffy, it's time to go to school. Jeffy, get in here. You're oh, late. school. Oh, I'm ready to go to school. <laughs> Jeffy, what is he wearing? A tomato head. You're not wearing a tomato head to school, Jeffy. <laughs> but, Daddy, I always wear my tomato head. No, you school. don't. You, you, look ridiculous. you never do. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, hurry up, Jeffy. You're late. <sighs> Oh, tomato you're backpack? Okay. Jeffy, you're not wearing a cheeseburger. A burger head. <laughs> I'm always wearing my cheeseburger head. No, you Jeffy, don't. You look ridiculous. Stop licking me. Jeffy. Is that a tongue or a bacon slice? Questions that need answers. Today, we're going to be learning about poverty. Poverty is when boys turn to man and girls turn to woman. You did not say that right. <laughs> and a sausage turn into big hot dog. And when your taco turn into chalupa, it's <laughs> when your balls drop. Oh my so goodness. Your go from high pitch like, oh, I'm so Asian, I can't see. To, to lower oh, pitch. I'm so Asian, I can't see. <laughs> poverty. I want to go through poverty. Oh, my God. That makes two of us. <laughs> Cody, also, relax. When you go through poverty, <laughs> relax. you get fuzzy hair on your balls, like these tennis balls. And you could also get fuzzy <laughs> hair on your face. Yes, it's that's true. Your fuzzy. It's more like there's a forest down there. Oh, oh my gosh. You beard and look like Santa Claus. Cody, relax. <laughs> All right, Chris. So for tonight's homework, I want you to go home and rook at your balls. I'm what? Really rook at them. I'm talking rook at them. That's homework? Football, basketball, baseball, <laughs> ping pong balls. Any balls you have, okay. I want you to rook at them. Okay. 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 Dude, uh, Junior, I'm going to need you to come over and help me with my homework. Oh, here. my goodness. Okay. All right, let's go. Junior, you have no idea what you're getting yourself into. Let's get started on this homework. <laughs> I'm going to need Cody to relax. This is like the homework exi homework assignment that he's been waiting for his whole entire life. And he has Junior over. This is a dream come true for him. But it's not puberty. But I'm guessing they're just saying that. So, you know, YouTube. I probably should have said that as well. That probably goes my ad <laughs> For the most part, you know, he explained it kind of right. It's just like... <laughs> There's more to it than that. Um, yes, you go from a high pitch to a lower pitch. And if for everybody in the comments that says I have a high pitch voice, trust me, it used to be higher. So this is lower pitch for me. I guess it's the lowest my voice is going to be. I got to live with it. But like I said, for the most part, Mr. Chu, he explained it right. That's what happens uh, through puberty. So yeah, guys, <laughs> it's, a, it's a wacky ride. <laughs> Cody, what are we going to hit puberty? Well, Junior, we're only 11. We're not going to hit puberty for another year or two. But Cody, I want to hit puberty now. I want a big mustache. Huh. Well, it's funny you should say that, because I've actually been working on something. You got a mustache? What is that, oh, Cody? okay. This is a machine that shoots contained, uncontrollable manliness. 
<laughs> contained, uncontrollable manliness. Well, it's stuff that makes you into a man, gives you a mustache and a deep voice and everything. Muscles too. Oh, be a man? Okay, shoot me with it. Let's uh, see. Well, I haven't actually tested it yet, so I don't know what'll happen. What? So we need someone to test it on? Yeah. Who are we gonna test it Joseph, on? Joseph. He's hey, poor. Guys, how are you doing? Okay, oh, Jeffy. We should test it on Jeffy. Okay, just ask for his consent first. I'm so wrong. <laughs> Jeffy, can we shoot you with some contained, uncontrollable manliness? Sure. All right, Cody, do it. Test it on him. Always get consent yeah. first, kids. I like that. <laughs> Is it gonna work? Did it work? Ah! <laughs> a mustache. Huh. I have a mustache. Good Jeffy. Man. Manly Jeffy. Strong man. Uh. Do me next. Uh oh, Junior. Well, I'm all out of contained, uncontrollable manliness. I blew my whole load. Well, okay. <laughs> Oh, we'll get some more because I want to be a man. Well, we're just gonna have to find some more. He blew you know, his line. Find some more. I want to be a man like Jeffy. Jeffy's really a man out here. Jeffy. It was great, Daddy. Jeffy, what happened to this you? Man, Jeffy. Oh, you must be talking about my mustache. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, it's gorgeous, but I'm talking about your voice too. It's super deep. What happened? It's called poverty, Daddy. Jeffy, there's no way you're poverty, poverty today. Daddy. Poverty this morning. Well then, check my diaper. I got big balls. I'm talking. Big. Okay, I don't think he wants to see that. I'm gonna call a doctor to see what's going on with you. Of course, Mario's calling a doctor, but for this, this is like the one time that I will say that, yes, he does have a reason to bother Brooklyn T guy. Usually he doesn't, he's just calling a cop or a doctor for any reason, but now he actually has a reason. Jeffy is a man. Did y'all see the stash on him? I don't even have a mustache, guys. I can't grow facial hair. I can grow this small few chin hairs that I have. But other than that, that's the most that I'm getting, and I'm 23. So, yeah, I can use a shot of contained manliness. That will do me some justice. I'm already good in that area. I don't need any more addition to there. You know, I'm good there. It's literally just the face, facial hair part. I can use some more hair. Like, I have a pretty smooth body. I don't shave, but I have pretty smooth legs for a guy. It's probably smoother than half these girls out here, you know. So, hmm, I guess it's a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, I did, doctor. There's something wrong with my son. There is? He looks <laughs> fine to me. He looks well, I'm legally blind in my left eye, so all I can see is that way. Oh my god, he has a mustache. He does? Hold on. Oh my, oh my god, that's a beautiful mustache. He's blind. I wish I could grow a mustache like that. This is as long as my mustache gets, and I can't grow a beard, so I'm just kind of stuck like this. Well, Dang. my son grew a mustache out of nowhere. He didn't have it this morning. Shave the mustache, then. It's really weird, like it's really deep. Show him, Jeffy. Hello, doctor! Okay, are you in an opera? Oh my god. <laughs> that was beautiful. He has the voice of an angel. Right? He sounds like that. He usually sounds like this. Hey, Daddy, what you doing? Wow, that's a really good gesture. That was a good impression. All the time, so I can do a good impression. But usually his voice is not that deep. What happened? Well, there is a thing called puberty that kids his age usually go through. Puberty. And it does cause your voice to get deeper and you grow hair on your face. So that's probably what's happening. It's perfectly natural. Okay, so this is just Jeffy's new voice. I love how they yeah, pronounce it puberty. He has mustache, too. All right, Jeffy, I guess there's nothing to worry about then. Uh, hey, do you mind if I, uh, just stay here and watch TV on your couch right now? I, 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 right I, now? Okay, cool. Ugh. Do you not have a home? Breaking <laughs> <laughs> news, okay? I, Mr. Goodman, am holding the first annual Sing Me to Sleep competition. And whoever succeeds in singing me to sleep... Big money. ...win one million dollars. this competition because I am having trouble sleeping because my bed is made of money and my pillows are made of gold bricks. That's a pretty hard bed. <laughs> I'm the head of that competition. Oh, you back off, man. That million dollars is mine. You're not gonna win it. What do you do? <laughs> oh, yeah? What do you need it for? Well, I want to pay off my house and all my credit cards. Yeah. <laughs> Credit card bills. That's cute. Yeah, I'm in debt up to my ears. You ever heard of child support? I owe it. A lot of it. You have kids? I've worn out from my arrest. Okay. In four states for bad wow. child support. I have a crippling debt. <laughs> okay. If I put a dollar on the ground and I don't pick it up, I'm bankrupt. <laughs> I literally like a McDonald's urinal cake for $10. And I've done it. My power got shut off yesterday, and I am two months behind on my rent. So you back off, man. This man broke, bro. <laughs> Jeffy has an amazing singing voice, so we're going to win. <laughs> well, have you ever heard my singing voice? I know Itsy Bitsy Spider. Bitsy bitsy this man Jeffy looks like he off a of Percocet. Is it, up, is it up or down the water spout? You know what? I don't know, but you're gonna find out when you hear me sing it at the competition, and then you're gonna watch me walk away a millionaire. All we're right. Gonna be a millionaire, and we're gonna walk away with a million dollars. Isn't that right, Jeffy? So we're getting ready. All right, Jeffy, we're gonna go with this competition, okay? I have faith that Jeffy can win this competition. Did y'all not hear his beautiful voice? Like it honestly touched my heart a little bit. It touched my heart. And Mario could really use the money. Brooklyn T guy, I don't know how you're in this much debt. 
from kids, bro. Where are your kids? Where are your kids at? Maybe you should visit them from time to time. Maybe you should have been paying this child support. It's not Marta's fault that you're going bankrupt because you don't know how to pay child support. Marta needs the money to pay off his house, credit card bills, this and that, Jeffy's shenanigans, all of that. I feel like Jeffy costs a lot of money to raise. So Jeffy needs to win this contest. And he does have a good voice. So he does have a good chance of winning it. So Brooklyn D guy, back off, bro. You know, go do your own thing. Go be a doctor or a cop or a lawyer or this or that. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the first annual Sing Me to Sleep competition. Sing My Me to Sleep. Mr. Goodman and our first contestant is Brooklyn T. Guy. I'm going to go lie down and see if he can sing me to sleep. All right, let's All see. Right, it's my turn to go on stage. Watch and learn, peasants. <laughs> I don't think he's going to win. Uh, hello, my name is Brooklyn T. Guy. Okay. I'm going to be singing the Itsy Bitsy Spider. So prepare to sleep your head off. <clears throat> the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Uh, 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 okay. He doesn't seem like he's falling asleep. <laughs> Again. Yeah, he's wide awake. Up the spout, down the spout. <laughs> I, I, are you asleep yet? That was the most horrible thing Ooh. I've ever heard. Roast him. No one could ever fall asleep to I, I'm so sorry. Can I go again? <sighs> Maybe you can try again at the end. Okay, yes. I need more time to prepare. Thank you. You should have wow. just looked up the lyrics. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You don't know me, bro, okay? If you knew me, you'd know that wasn't my best, all right? I've had a sore throat for like two months, and I ate a whole bunch of popcorn before I came out, so my voice was all scratchy, all right? So I'm going to go drink some water, and then I'm going to drink some tea, and then I'm going to come back, and okay. I'm going to later. I think okay. he got it. A bunch of excuses. All right, Jeffy, practice your twinkle, twinkle, little star. Twinkle, look at this man's eyeballs. Twinkle, Why does it look like that? <laughs> okay. Beautiful! Oh, Jeffy, that was really good. That was beautiful. Oh, that was beautiful. Yeah. Stop him. The next contestant. Oh, he's gonna try it. Black Yoshi. Hi, my name is Black Yoshi. Black Yoshi up in here? I'm gonna be singing <laughs> is the three little pigs. All right. That is not a song. Yeah, it is. Watch this. One piggy, two yeah. piggy, three uh, piggy. Oh, okay. I need a million dollars really, really bad. Yeah. You get off my stage. <laughs> Man, where do I get my million dollars, though? You don't. Man, you green, folks. He just oh, wanted a million dollars. Is Jeffy. Can't blame him. Please help me fall asleep. All right, Jeffy, it's your turn. Go out there and sing your heart out. I think Jeffy got this. <laughs> Why'd you hit Jeffy in the nuts? Because I'm threatened by his talent. Oh, Jeffy, get out there and sing. I cannot believe you do that. Oh my goodness, Brooklyn T guy, why are you gonna do that to Jeffy? <laughs> you can't do that to a guy. Ladies, everyone who's watching this, especially ladies, you can't hit a guy down there. It really hurts us tremendously, like, to the point where y'all don't even comprehend. You can't even fathom it. It's not funny. It's not a cool joke that y'all can do, not a prank. You should not do it ever. It really, 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 really hurts to the point where, like, you can actually throw up. Even if you, like, tap it a little bit. It doesn't have to be a full-blown hit. You can, you can just tap it, and it will still make us nauseous. So, please, don't think it's funny to do something like that. It's not okay, and it never will be okay. Oh, my gosh, his voice. <laughs> Oh, poor Jeffy. <laughs> You're not putting anybody to sleep. Stop, please. <laughs> and you're off beat. <laughs> That was the worst thing that I've oh ever heard. Oh my gosh. I think I'm going to sue you for rupturing my eardrums. Ooh. You can get off my stage. Please. <laughs> oh, man. Jeffy, I can't believe you lost the competition because uh. your voice messed up. I know, darling. I don't know what happened. And now, I sound like me wild. You do hey, sound like me wild. What are you doing here? <laughs> I just came to apologize. What I did was wrong. And I didn't even win the competition. So if you would have won, would you still be sorry? God, no. If I'd won, I'd be in Fiji right now. You'd never see me again. But I didn't win, so I'm so sorry. That, that's why he's sorry. A million dollars. Wow. Yeah, it sucks. Who, who won? His voice sounds really weird. Look, talk to the doctor, Jeffy. Hello, doctor. Oh, well, I can probably fix that. Come here, Jeffy. 
Just tap it again. Ugh. Eat me in the balls, daddy. Ugh. Is your voice sounding good? Back to normal. Yeah, I think it sounds fine. <laughs> wait, wait, so, so if you hit him in the nuts, it just changes his voice? Yeah, it looks like it. So if we hit him again, will his voice get... Don't hit him again! No, and it really wouldn't matter anyway. The competition's already over. <laughs> oh, well, I guess everything's back to normal. So let's just watch TV. <sighs> Is there gonna be another competition? Best mustache? <laughs> I am holding a one million dollar best mustache competition. I will be giving away let me, one million dollars. Let me draw on a mustache. <laughs> best mustache. Give me that. <laughs> that was it for this video, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. Jeffy didn't win the million dollars, unfortunately, because Brooklyn T Guy just had to ruin it, bro. Jeffy honestly could have won that million dollars, but yeah, Brooklyn T Guy just has to ruin the day. And he was gonna win that best mustache contest contest too, because who has a better mustache than Jeffy? And Jeffy's only 15, so it makes it even more special, even more unique. But look Look at Brooklyn T guy having to ruin it once again. Maybe it's for the best. Maybe Jeffy is not somebody you want to just hand a million dollars to because what would Jeffy do with a million dollars? He'll probably buy like a million uh, diapers or <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> don't forget to hit me with a like, subscribe, comment on this video if you want to reply from your truly Prince Charming. My name is Prince of Hawkins. Stay charming, my friends.